trying out a Martin GPC PA1. That means Grand Performance Cutaway Performing Artist 1. This is a new model from Martin and uh, they've tried to combine the old traditional you know, great Martin acoustic guitar sound with a new pickup system. It's uh, the Aura 1 by Fishman. F1 is the you know, model number of the pickup system. And what it features is nine different uh, microphone settings, you know, uh, uh, mo model settings, uh, simulating different types of microphones micing up an acoustic guitar. So you get a lot of, uh, a lot of variation in the sound production of this pickup, which is great if you're like, uh, you know, fiddling with knobs, you know, going through uh, a lot of sections of different uh, types of sounds, you know, I mean, it, 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 it's unlimited, unlimited really, excuse me. Also, it has this really neat tuning system on board. It looks like a little, like fish tank almost, but you hit a note, it tells you whether the guitar is uh, flat or sharp, in and out of tune. So that pickup system is built right into the guitar, and it's a, a recess, so it doesn't stick up, you know. And another thing I'm noticing right away is how these knobs are uh, very flat, very out of the way, you know, unobstructive type of uh, design. So uh, very, very nicely uh, thought of. Actually, I'm impressed with that. I like I like the idea of being able to just glance down and you know you can immediately get the guitar in tune. And uh, it's very clear. Uh, the LED uh, letters are very big. And uh, at the same time, you can't see it out there. Say if I'm performing uh, in front of an audience, uh, um, I can tune the guitar and nobody will even notice it. acoustic sound. The way they're getting that is they have a Sitka spruce top, which is a very uh, common wood for quality acoustic guitars. Uh, your more expensive guitars would have this type of uh, wood on top, this, this uh, Sitka spruce top, this beautiful uh, rosette, uh, you know, abalone or mother of pearl. Uh, I, I, I didn't read that much up on it, but that, that's what it looks like. Tortoiseshell pickguard. Uh, ebony bridge. This looks like that tusk. T U S Q. You know, it's a replacement for a bone. Uh, just a hard, hard material, hard plastic type material. Uh, uh, this is a mahogany uh, neck. I can see that. And your enclosed machine heads. Uh, you know, it looked like uh, a shallower design or a Grover design, but maybe Martin. Uh, makes these themselves now, but it's probably uh, made for Martin by a shower. I'm guessing, sorry. Uh, it's an ebony fretboard, uh, nice uh, looking inlays on there, nice design, there's probably a title for those. It's got the oven call binding, which is a lighter shade of wood. Uh, you know, that's to give it some uh, distinction between uh, the mahogany and where the fretboard is. You know, usually binding uh, to me, not only does it look kind of neat, but uh, the idea of not damaging uh, the instrument with a hard, uh, you know, edge, sometimes, uh, and more often than this, would be a, a plastic binding, right? To, you know, to protect the edges, the sharp edges of the guitar. But it also looks beautiful. See that light colored wood, oven call, that is. And what, what is this? This is, a, you know, your East Indian rosewood on the back. Again, let me stress the fact that the materials that they use for this guitar have been, you know, traditionally uh, uh, been used for a long time of uh, being considered really good wood for tone. So uh, the fact that it's got an ebony fretboard, a mahogany neck, uh, Indian rosewood, uh, back and side, solid, there's no uh, lamination there, and a Sitka spruce top, you know, you're really getting a, the optimum uh, acoustic guitar sound, right? Now, this guitar has a cutaway, uh, which gives you the accessibility of these higher frets 
And right now this guitar is very difficult to play, and I say that because the action is very high. And I, I might to come to uh, Martin's defense in this uh, purely for the musician who just wants an acoustic guitar to uh, play in the, in the first position. because you don't get any fret rattle or any buzz. But if you want to play up here, you got to have, a, a, for me, a lower action, which uh, the guitar shop who loaned us this guitar in Laguna Beach, when you purchase a guitar from them, uh, they'll do a, a setup for you uh, free of charge, right? So usually that's, that's uh, somewhere between $60 and $90 to have somebody uh, you know, dial your guitar in. And uh, uh, most shops do offer setup, so... Uh, this is right out of the box, this guitar, so it's, it's very uh, very much a virgin, you know, it hasn't really been played yet. Uh, I don't know what else to say uh, uh, in regard to anything else, but this pickup system is pretty wild. I haven't had a chance to sit down and try out all those microphone sounds, but uh, I'm sure there's one in there that will, you know, work perfectly for me. So having all those uh, choices, you cover all the bases and you give every uh, musician who has a, a preference for sound you know, a uh, selection that they'll like. I guess that's what Martin has in mind. But, uh, you know, I give this a top rating. This is a really, really nice instrument. And uh, they retail for uh, 4000 justifiably so. It's a very high quality guitar. And I've seen it advertised on the internet for around 3000 So, uh, there you go. Nice guitar, Martin.